show. Greetings and welcome, Life Gainers. This is your host, Lamont Tyson. My main man, James, the co-host, is back. Good Got to the... see you all again. Yep. And guys, we do really hate meeting over these wrestling snafus. But guys, we've lost another one of the legends of wrestling. We lost Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And we just had to come, guys, let you know how we feel about it. James? It has been a rough, I mean, certainly a rough year and probably a really rough two or three years now. It's been tough. Roddy Piper, unexpected. Uh, we had Ultimate Warrior was completely out of nowhere. I mean, right out of Russell, right after WrestleMania. And, of course, Dusty Rhodes, Dusty who we already Rhodes, talked about. The American Dream. I, it's... This one was shocking because we know Roddy Piper had not, he'd been sick off and on over the last few years, but this was just seemingly completely, I hadn't heard anything in particular, and then you go to the computer one day and you see all these posts, Roddy Piper passed away. So, you know, yeah. update me, what was it that happened to him? You know, what, what have you read happened to the I, this is so soon afterwards, but all I've read is he died of heart attack. I, mm. I as far as I can tell, it, it sound, at least at this point, it sounds like he died before they even got him to the hospital, oh. whether he was dead when he was found or what. But from what I understand it, he had a heart attack, and that was it. Um, we'll, certainly when we hear more details, we might update this, but mm -hmm. at this point, that's as much as I know. So, guys, we're, we're here not to celebrate the passing of Hot Rod, but to more celebrate the legacy he left in entertainment, you know how he impacted us as young kids during the 80s yeah and it just really celebrate the man and what he did in the entertainment industry and what are your greatest memories of the hot rod i was gonna say you know aside from hulk hogan i really think he set the tone for wrestling mm -hmm. in the 80s yep. aside from and, and when i say aside from hulk hogan they main evented together WrestleMania one. Yep. It was a tag match. Yep, uh, yep. Him and uh, was it Paul Orndorff? Yeah, yeah. Versus Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're talking. Hulk Hogan may have main evented the first WrestleMania, but so did Roddy Piper. Exactly. And, and, and Roddy Piper brought in a little bit of that pop culture. He got into a little bit of a thing with Mr. T, which ultimately wound up leading to Hulk Hogan doing movies, getting on Rocky. Yep. And you know, one of Roddy Piper's favorite moves is a right hand hook. So, you know, we give him a lot of credit, and whenever you have a great hero, you've got to have that bad villain. And to help WWE get moving, Roddy Piper for the longest time was that guy yeah. that was on the fringe. He was on the edge. He would do things to make you as a parent mad, make the kids cry. And he was reliable. I mean, if, you, if, you, if Roddy Piper was in a storyline... It was going to be good. Oh, it was yeah. going to move oh, yeah. forward. It was going to be good. They could rely on him to do that. Is it safe to say he was the Attitude Era before we had an Attitude Era? Absolutely. If he if he had hit his stride during the Attitude Era, he could have been their biggest star. I, I truly believe that. It, it wouldn't have been Stone Cold and The Rock. It would have mm -hmm. been Stone Cold, The Rock, and Roddy Piper. Could you? If this had been the Attitude could, Era. Could, could you oh, imagine my. the bleeps you would have had to have had? If we had a Stone Cold versus Roddy Piper every Monday night. I, just imagine this. Stone Cold with the beers. Roddy Piper would come out with the glass bottle and hey, smash oh. it over his head just to show how much more of a man he was. A man wearing a kilt. Man nonetheless. But a man. Yeah. And, and, and I say that almost like it's derogatory. Roddy Piper is the man who made it okay. At least in this country, I'd say, made it okay to wear a kilt. You know, if you saw a guy walking down the street now and you said, oh, you're wearing a kilt, he'd be like, just like Roddy Piper. And everybody's mm -hmm. going to be like, okay, yeah. So give us your top three greatest memories of Roddy Piper. Then I'll give you mine. Top three. The glass bottle incident. Ooh. Right off. That was Vince McMahon? I know. I believe that was pre-Vince McMahon. I Ooh. think that was with another company. But still famous. Mm -hmm. There is the line that will live forever. I came here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. And I'm going to say it. I think his rivalry with Hulk Hogan, it, it did so much for wrestling mm -hmm. in the 80s. They made a cartoon series about yeah, it, you know? Yeah. A cereal I, out of the boxes. I, I, this, and that's, that was part of, yes, Hulk Hogan too, mm -hmm. but that was part of Roddy Piper. So for me, yeah. definitely... The Brother Love thing. Oh, God. When he came on the Brother Love show and had that rope, and he pulled that rope, and it was Brother Love, 
and a giant man-sized diaper. Oh, <laughs> my God. I, me and my grandmother laughed at that for days. Um, that is Attitude Era stuff. It's Attitude Era. Ten years before mm-hmm. Attitude was even a thing. And the smashing of that coconut on Superfly Jimmy Jeez. Snooker's head, wow. that that was a good one. And to, since you've already hit H- Hogan rivalry, I'm going to definitely touch on his rivalry with Brett, the Hitman Hart, yep. and all the bad things he said about the Hart Foundation and the daddy that really made you hate his guts. He was the attitude before there was an attitude era. Yep. And, and so those are my fondest memories of the rowdy one. And I think that whenever you're creating a narrative, you have got to have a heel or you've got to have an adversary that is willing to do whatever it takes, cross every line to show you how bad he is. And Rowdy did that naturally. I, he, he delivered mm-hmm. every time. And how many wrestlers today say, you know, when they were training to become wrestlers, they all say, well, I was watching old promos of what name always comes up? You've got Rowdy. Yep. You've got Dusty. Yep. You've got the Macho Man. Absolutely. And you got Ric Flair. These are, and Roddy, he was one of the names they say. Ric Flair, take care of yourself, man. That's all I can say. That's what we want to say. And God, we'll close on that note. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video. <laughs> Comment, subscribe, rest in peace, Roddy Piper, yep. family heal well, and his WWF brethren, make sure that you are healing well too. You will be Miss Roddy Piper. <laughs>